you like to go fast? Let's go fast. Vroom, vroom. That's right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope news items for this video two that's right not one but two playstation 5 games leaking on the internet also the highly rumored xbox um lockhart the xbox series x Ooh, it's been leaked and we have some surprising Nintendo Switch news all wrapped up in one epic video. So what you got to do, you got to give it a thumbs up, bro, because I already told you what we're talking about. So thumbs up, like, get the like button right there, man. All right. The first news item. We could be getting a Gran Turismo game possibly even at launch at launch for the PlayStation 5. Check this out. Not even could be. It's happening. It looks like it's happening. Sony Interactive, this is coming from PushSquare.com. <coughs> Sony Interactive Entertainment has renewed trademarks for the Gran Turismo name, the GT logo, and Polyphony Digital, the developer of the series. But this is what's interesting about the renewal of that trademark. The trademark was filed on June 4th, 2020. The same day, the original date of the PlayStation 5 um, games reveal event. And so, Sony was like, all right, dudes are going to see the trademark. So, let's reveal the trademark on June 4th. And so, what? It's the same day we're revealing the game anyway. But, Black Lives Matter, boy. Black Lives Matter, boy, representing the game. Um, the event has been delayed because of, of the protest sweeping the nation, which your boy is supporting Black Lives Matter. And so because of that, um, the event wasn't um, um, aired on that date, but the trademark stands. And so this is strong, strong, strong evidence that we're not just getting a new Gran Turismo game, but very likely within the launch window of the PlayStation 5. I have to say this, man. Of the racing series, I grew up on the GT series, Gran Turismo series. My son is in the room. Usually I don't have my kids in the room while I'm recording. Shh. I told him to keep it down. He's back there talking. Back over there in the corner. You got to be quiet. Daddy's recording a video. All right. Back to the news. He's laughing. But um, the, G, the Gran Turismo series used to be the best racing series in my opinion. When it, on, on the PlayStation 1, I had Gran Turismo. PlayStation 2, Gran Turismo 2. It was a PlayStation 3. I had Gran Turismo I think it was three on the PlayStation 3. But the series wasn't, um, something was off. I forget what it was, but it wasn't as good. I'm telling you, man, right now, this generation, Forza has been on, on the top of the simulation racing series. But I might be sleeping a little bit on GT Sport. I might end up checking it out. I've been going through my PlayStation backlog, so I might check it out. But. Um, I'm interested to see what an all new Gran Turismo game will look like on the PlayStation 5. And so, according to this trademark, Gran Turismo 5 should be coming on, um, should be revealed when the PlayStation event is revealed. We should be getting some Gran Turismo news, which is pretty dope. All right, next news item. Bloodborne, not just Gran Turismo, but we could also be getting Bloodborne, a no, a all new Bloodborne game on the PlayStation Five. Bloodborne Two, all right. There is um, the source. 
hasn't had a real big track record, but they're saying, um, but other um, sources are also saying this. Uh, grain of salt, but no repeater. So there's further. The rumors are backed up by a popular Twitch streamer, Casey, who wrote on Twitter that a trusted source confirmed um, the remaster return of uh, the deal. Shit, but uh, we're trying to get it. All right. But multiple sources are saying that a Bloodborne game could be coming to not just the PlayStation 5, but they're saying the PC as well as the PlayStation 5. I really don't, <coughs> I only say sources when it's like a reputable source. So take this one with a grain of salt. Um, they're saying that Bloodborne, and this is coming from GamesRadar.com reporting on it, that Bloodborne, an all new Bloodborne game um, could be coming to the PlayStation 5 and PC. This is another um, PlayStation exclusive, never really touched. I'm going through my backlog, bro. I just beat Spider Man, just beat Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm playing through Little Big Planet 3 right now on my gaming channel. Go check out Obi Wan Plays Gaming Championships. Um, that's where I am doing my gameplays. All right. The news continues. This is also pretty big. There's been rumors that the Xbox Series X won't be the only console Microsoft is revealing for this generation. Now, this is coming from IGN.com. Images from the operating system's code um, were tweeted um, for the Xbox Series X um, by the security researcher Title OS, which include five references of the Lockhart code name found within several of Windows System 32 library files. And so they've been doing some data mining and the code the code name Lockhart has been appearing and that is the code name for Xbox's rumored second console. Xbox Series X, the code name Anaconda is said to be the more powerful of the two and Xbox Series S, a code name Lockhart, is supposed to be a more budget-friendly version of that console. So, interesting to see what's going to be revealed. The summer is going to be pretty lit, man. I can't wait, can't wait to see what games, most importantly, the games, man. I know the consoles are going to be dope, but I want to see the games. And last but not least for this video, some Nintendo Switch news. That's right, Nintendo still makes video games. They made Animal Crossing this year. Animal Crossing has finally been dethroned at the top of the eShop charts. And the game that has done it Minecraft Dungeons. Right now, Minecraft Dungeons is the best-selling game currently. I'm not saying it's outsold Animal Crossing. Come on, bro. Animal Crossing sold like 13 million units in like 10 seconds. But um, Minecraft Dungeons currently, currently is at the top of the eShop charts at the recording of this video. <laughs> Animal Crossing could have leaped the frog it right back, but it's cool to see that Minecraft Dungeons is selling well. And I would imagine, even though this is an Xbox IP, that it's multi it's a um, multi-platform release, that the Switch version would probably be the best selling version. So this isn't a graphically intense game, and so it'll probably look the same, run the same on all systems. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. I keep for, I keep forgetting to change my bro. All my kids are in here. Now. Not all my kids. We got six kids. Three of them are in here. All right, dudes. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Are you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at obi one plays And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. 
Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.